I'm not dead. Surprisingly. Now, and the reason I disappear for long periods of time is because, well, nothing inter interesting happens anymore. That's a lie. Something awesome happened. Well, not awesome. More completely and in incredibly insane. So, um, pop it in. Uh, this is footage from a game I played, so don't attack me for that. This is pre-recorded footage. So, yeah, I use pre-recorded footage. So, uh, I'm going to be talking about a story that uh, I like to do my stories because they're fun. And... <laughs> oh, life. So, today we're going to be doing a story about how... Everyone got in a fight on Instagram about a repost photo of a gay pride flag. Oh, say can you she can't sing that to get copyrighted. So I'm at the lake, right? So this happened about this weekend. This weekend, so I'm at the lake. We're chilling, we're having fun. I check my phone, you know, see what's going on, see what people are doing, having fun. And people start reposting this photo because there's an article around. If you look it up, Gay Pride, f Gay Pride flag tries to um, be replaced. Tries to replace the, the already, you know, agreed upon American flag. And um, I think it said that they either have or are trying to reach ten thousand signatures. And basically, it's it's the stars. The stars are still there. It's just all the stripes are turned rainbow so while that is going down everyone on instagram gets a hold of this and they're like oh this is a thing well then and i don't know if they made this or they grabbed it from somewhere but basically what it says is the the new american flag u.s citizen signed position for rainbow flag so, the, so they're trying to get this as like the legit flag, and it says repub, republish. If you think this is a disgrace, now they x out the bad word because you know we're not animals, <laughs> and you know people are like starting to do this because you know I live in the south, and people down here a lot of family fight in the army, so they're like they died under this flag, they spilled blood for this flag, they. It is to, and the American flag, even back when Im, Im, big immigration was coming through, through New York and Ellis Island, that was a flag people looked to and thought, I will be represented equal here. And so a lot of the argument was, how can we have one flag to show our uh, acceptance of a group and make that our national flag, other than all the, because a lot of people have a lot of opinions. And... Once you focus on one group being, you know, oh, you know, we support, you, you start singling, you, you see, you see people's opinions start playing in. So, you know, that starts happening. Opinions start getting thrown around and it just ends in something crazy because you have a lot of people who, you know, don't like gay people. And so they would get mad. And so to keep... Everything they just agreed, and it was it was the red and white, which the th represented the thirteen colonies which we were based off of, and the stars of our states. And you know everyone agreed on that. It showed where we started from. It shows how the strength we did to come together and make a new nation. And it showed the stars as our states shining and beautiful. Well, in my representation of the states, uh, in the of the stars. So now, to, not to bore you, just wanted to throw that in there. So people. Start getting mad. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna so this is on uh, Tim's Tim's account. So Tim Tim posts this, and and Tim's friend Joanna didn't like it, cause cause Joanna's a lesbian. So you know Joanna gets very offended by this. She doesn't like this. So you know people start. So Joanna. So, you know, you know, Tim Tim starts making good arguments. He's like, well, the flag supposed to represent everybody. You know, it's people fought for the flag, under the flag, and everything. So, you know, it should stay the same. You know, it represents everyone and all of us. And it gives people the right to be gay, which... Uh, no. 
And then here comes Joanna. Joanna. Um. So Joanna basically throws, starts throwing stuff at his face. Um, she starts to basically say that, um, tells him to, I, I feel like a, you know what, this is just weird stories about my life, so you know what, we're throwing it in there anyway, I'm not giving out names. So, she tells him to shut up, you know, and, okay, so, starts off with like, wow, haha, he, you dated someone who's a lesbian, well, he, that's funny coming from you, and tells him to shut up, you know, you have no idea how much bigotry and hate people are the LGBT Q community face every day. Like, she also said, I'm not saying that we can 100% change the flag, but if we did, it'd be a good way to show freedom in which America represents, which, the freedom, that's the thing that plays in here, freedom, that, 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 sh whatever, it's, it shows freedom, which she's trying to say, you know, it shows the freedom which the United States lent, unlike the 13 stripes, now this is where it gets, like, Jesus Christ, this one's crazy. But unlike the 13 stripes, who represents the original 13 colonies that, you know, we stole from the Native Americans by slaughtering, enslaving, infecting, and even raping them. So yeah, it's not such a bad idea to change it. Just like it's not such a bad idea to change your outdated and closed-minded views. Holy crap! So, I don't even need to, I don't even need to speak about how that is wrong. Because, what... Woo! Okay. Okay. Pulls pulls the Native American card. Okay. That is true. We did kill and enslave them. That that is true. But that was also back very long time ago, like two hundred years. Now I'm not saying that the past should just be forgotten, because we learn from our past. Our past molds our future. Without no past, there would be no present, there would be no future. But, to say that it's outdated and closed-minded view, that's not a closed-minded and outdated view. That's, that's coming from someone who actually has a standpoint in an argument. You know, it's like, it's like walking up to a taco stand guy and be like, Hey, taco stand guy, you don't have a rainbow taco. So, since you don't have a rainbow taco, I don't feel like I'm safe in your taco stand. Change it. For me. Because I don't feel like you appreciate me and how I feel. So, I mean, and for a flag that is just like, you know, it's a flag that represents, that has represented freedom for all that come there and conquering is part of every even though it was awful no i can't say that cuz cuz then everyone cuz if i say it conquering there someone's going to bring up hitler someone's going to bring up hitler <laughs> but it was awful it was a awful time but we learned cuz it was in the past and we have learned from it we've learned hey we can't just storm somewhere and murder th thousands of people <laughs> Because we want the land. That's really messed up. And then just push them onto reservations that, you know, was completely unfair and awful. I'm it's not even going to get into that. So, and then her friend, we're just going to call her Tammy. Tammy jumps in. like, I bet he was just confused. Or maybe I'm hoping he was confused. Most people are that or they're scared of change. And I didn't think... I didn't even think about the whole Native American situation. That's another great point. Which just turns into like this... This circle of pets on the back. Like... What? Just like a big circle of hell. You did a good job. And... So so Tim. Tim fires back with... Uh, I'm not saying I hate gays. But yes, it's a disgrace when my papa served for our flag. And you're saying it's fine for the flag to change to shoot... One specific group of people. And this, this, th that's a, that's a, a solid point. Because you can't just be like, we, we, uh, we accept all people. Oh, yeah, there, there it goes. I messed with it. I messed with the, mm, I messed with it. Well, sorry. Hang on. Hang on. It should go away. Hang on. Pause. 
Okay, there you go. It went away. We're good. <laughs> uh, I have to do these in one tank because I'm too cheap to buy editing equipment. <laughs> but it, it, the flag is supposed to represent everyone. It's been used to represent everyone because it's, it's a simple design. It's, it's a beautiful, simple design that describes something so intricate and beautiful. So, by changing that to just say, hey, we represent that we, because people, what people are going to start saying is, the, the United States, the United States of America supports this group. It's on their flag. I mean, they must support these people more than anyone. Because look, it's, it's on their national flag. That will be shown in press conferences and everything else. A gay rainbow flag. And so, he comes back with, Tim, Tim does, well, the, 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 f Joanna says, I realize your point, but your papa fought for freedom, this is a representation of freedom. You already have freedom. You already have freedom. Because if you didn't, like, people always say, like, oh, you know, we're oppressed, we need free, this is going into feminists third wave feminism, feminazis, they're like, oh, we're oppressed, we, we are just, boys are so much more represented than us. If you, if you were oppressed, you wouldn't have a phone, and you wouldn't have an internet connection, most likely. If you're oppressed, like, have you seen third world country oppression? That's straight up living in a bombed building. Like, oh, but so, you know, Joanna continues with calling us a disgrace is homophobic. There's no way you can bounce from that. Oh. So uh, Tim responds with, But because I don't see a rainbow flag suiting blacks, Asian, Muslims, Hispanics, etc. The red and white stripes show how America came to be and everyone in America. Which is a great point because it shows how much we've grown. That The flag has been burned, shot, ripped, torn. And it shows how strong a symbol can be. Because when you look at something that can be burned by its own people and still be there, it's stupid. It's, I'm trying to describe the way I feel about it, but like, as people burn, rip, tear, destroy the flag, and it's still always there. It's still fought under. It's still, still, it's so hard to explain. It's so hard to explain, but it shows how much we've grown as people from the destruction of the Native Americans, which was horrific and sad and awful. It shows how we grew from that and then had our awful period of slavery, segregation, and how people, people were able to stand up, hold that flag, and say, this, is, we, this is flag represents our freedom, and we want our freedom to be with other people, to be with other people in America. Like, se like segregation. You know, people wanted to be together. They wanted to be equal and happy, and they protested, and they got their rights under that flag. So instead of trying to change a flag to meet your needs... Why not grab that flag, show it to everyone, say this is freedom, and we want our freedom, even though you already have your freedom, but I'm saying hypothetically if you did it, there you go. But so, and her response is, no, the stripes show how America came to be for you straight white men. Oh, oh. Jeez, I, I lost my beautiful argument. My beautiful argument just went to dust right there. This is going to be a long video. Jesus, oh, this, this, this is going to be long. 
and I realize how hard it might be for you to see that, since you are one, as in being a straight white male. <laughs> but the stripes in no way represent the minorities. What? Okay, please, everyone, just go back to what I said about the segregation and how Martin Luther King Jr. And now all of that, if you're saying it doesn't represent minorities, why in the world did, you know, blacks, Hispanics, everyone else get their rights? I'm making very crazy hand movements right now. So... He's just, he starts saying how the 13 stripes represents freedom, but a rainbow f uh, rep that uh, the 13 stripes, when she says the 13 stripes don't represent freedom, but a rainbow flag does. It shows, hey, we, we love the gays. Not, hey, we have complete freedom. Like everyone's used to. When everyone sees, you know, in every, like, everyone looks at the United States, like, well, used to. People have odd opinions now, but I still do. They look at it and they go, that is a country with freedom. That is a country where I can go and I can be who I want to be without the government trying to hunt me down and kill me brutally. Now, people might say some things you don't like. They might not agree with you. But he also goes into the point of freedom of speech, which allows them to have the conversation. And then he ends out uh, his little comment with, I'm not saying the flag of the 50, uh, I'm not saying that the flag of the 50 United States shouldn't change to fit one, that it should not change to fit one group of people. Um, then she switched back to the Native American thing, which, you know, she just says, I still stay strong. She says, I see your stand on the flag not changing to fit one minority, but I still stay strong on the fact that the 13 stripes represents 13 colonies and they were wrongfully taken from Native Americans by white men. America was never our country, it was theirs. I have my own opinion on conquering and how that is. I feel like... I feel like conquering, taking land, having war and fight is part of nature. One... I feel like that's part of nature. That's where I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to leave my opinion there. And then, you know, uh, Tammy jumps in basically saying, you know, freedom of speech is for the media, newspaper, not dumb social media s sites five-year-olds could use. Not throwing shade at him. Just being like, this is a very easy-to-use site, blah, blah, blah. And uh, two, I already said that I wasn't necessarily for it. But I'm not going to hate it or label it a disgrace. It's your opinion. I get that. But labeling it is quite uh, is labeling it a quite hurtful word is not really the way to approach this. Which you know it could have been like repost if you don't agree with this instead of calling it a disgrace. But you know some people see it as a disgrace and they can feel that way. You know it's their way to feel. You can't control people's feelings. Everyone's conditioned a different way. Um, and then <laughs> the poor girl just gets completely ignored. And Tim keeps going with, you know, no, we made America how it is. The Native Americans, yes, we took their land and killed a lot of them. But, but are there still Native American tribes out there? My second cousin is part of the, not even trying to say that, but it is a tribe, not to mention that happened about 400 years ago. <laughs> Which, I have to say, <laughs> I didn't even see this part. Oh my god, uh, this is probably so long, but, um, oof, just saying it was a long time ago doesn't really, I don't know, depends on your opinion, but mine, I mean, just saying, oh, it happened a long time ago, it's fine, it's kind of a odd defense, but, uh, she responds with Tammy, of course, being the one that's kind of crazy in this situation, being like, OMG, are you literally trying to justify us pillaging and killing Native Americans? I'm so done, Tim. Have a good time with your narrow-minded self. You can't just shrug off what we did because it happened a long time ago. What's next? Are you going to defend slavery? Christ. I agree. I agree. I agree with that statement because you can't just say, it happened a long time ago. That's like saying, hey, Hitler, you know what? It happened a long time ago. You're good. That's why we have statues of limitations, you know? 
Oh god, that was an awful. Never mind. No, instead, that was really d bad joke in poor taste. But oh my god, why does he keep doing this? But like, that's like saying Hitler. Hey Hitler. Hey, you know, you know what? I don't think Hitler was a bad guy. It happened a long time ago. I think we should just move on. You know. I mean, it's not that big. Of a d it happened such a long time ago. No one remembers it. I mean, come, come on, come on. Like, no one really brings it up anymore. That, that's, uh, it's kind of ironic me saying that while people are screaming at everyone, calling them all neo-Nazis and, oh god. But, um, so it basically ends out with, um, uh, poor, poor. Wait a second. Did I, did I switch their names? Okay, well, Tammy is now the one being chill. No, no, Tammy... I, I can't, yeah, Tammy. Tammy was a cool one. Okay, so the OMG pillaging part was Joanna, and Joanna's the crazy one. I'm pretty sure. So Tammy, this is Tammy, and she basically says, "Hey, look, I don't want to start beef. You're my friend. I was expressing my opinion." So it was uh, Joanna. Oh crap! And you know, it just so happens that they weren't the same. But at least you could do is repost this and block at the bottom part. That is what bothers me the most. Basically saying, you know, you don't have to call it an effing disgrace. You could just be like, repost if you don't agree. And, um, yeah. And as much as I would love to argue the only opinion of possible say, I'd like to walk away from this friend. She basically says, let's stop arguing. <laughs> this doesn't matter. This is our opinions on the internet about a picture we reposted. Can we just please walk away? And, oh, or just do what I asked and completely delete it. Or Oh, and then he's just like, get off of my account. He's like, or you could stop commenting. As an opinion, however, I'm still going to urge you to please do what we asked in our friend. Oh! Oh. Okay, so, okay, they're pulling that. Okay. That's a little annoying. Basically doing the whole, like, we're gonna ask you nicely. In a fairly nice... She goes, in a fairly nice tone. Now I'm friends with her. But no one's ever gonna see this. No one looks at my YouTube channel. <laughs> but, um... She basically starts going, isn't it so frustrating when someone denies a friend with a smiley face? I think she's messing with him at this point. And uh, Tim responds with, I'm not going to do that. It's my account, my pictures, and my opinions. I will. S oh, I still want to s stay friends, so how if we just stay? Uh, uh, why don't we just say there's no right answer and be done with this? And that's the story of how everyone on Instagram got in a fight about a gay photo. I, I just wanted to share this. To just be like, this is people. These are people. And it's an awesome story. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you want to if you want to see me get probably like suspended for some reason because I I mentioned my life Without saying anyone's names, disclosure, no names were said in this. Please. Comment. Bleach. I love you all. I'm probably going to be dead for the next four weeks. That's fine, though. This is like a 23-minute long video. I'm sorry, but it's freaking hilarious. So, if you guys would like to come back, I would like to say one thing. To the man that watches these pretty religiously. And I'm going to say his name. If he has a problem saying my name, I'll uh, mess with that part. But Luke, Luke, 